Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my Bright Burn uh, movie review. I watched this movie maybe two weeks ago. And um, when I first heard about this movie, I thought it was really interesting what they were going to do. Um, it seems like they made this movie rather quickly. Um, this movie is essentially a take on if a Superman-like character came to Earth, but it was a psychopathic lunatic. What would happen? And this is directed by David Yaroveski. I don't know that he's directed anything else, but this guy really seemed to have. I don't know how he got in. He knows the Gun Brothers. I don't know if he hustled his way in, and uh, you know, did uh, somehow just was on the LA scene. But it was also written by the Gun uh, Mark Gun and Brian Gun, not James Gun. So at this point, I'm really starting to become a fan of anything that the Gun Brothers do, um, <clears throat> or any other Gun family. I really like this movie a lot. I, this is actually my favorite take on Superman. I've never been a fan of Superman. And I've never been a fan of pure characters in general. Um, particularly if they're overpowered. Um, I know, you know, uh, people say Captain America is pure. But at the end of the day, he's not that powerful and he can be killed. Um, so he, what he has is courage, really, and leadership. Um, so this, to me, is almost... A much more realistic take of Superman. Why would we think that somebody with these powers would be good? Um, given human nature, I know it's an alien, but I, I feel like, yeah, they would be evil. And uh, this guy, very interesting on Collider. I feel like he did not have any permission from DC to do this. And clearly, um, one could argue it is not Superman. It's not Clark Kent. It's a different family. It's still Kansas. It's similar, but um, he's trying not to get sued. Be smart about it. So, um yeah, I, I look forward to anything else this guy does, man. The next movie I hear about him doing, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. Um, he this is a guy to watch out for. He said he wants to do Portal. I didn't play Portal, but he also said he wanted to do Bioshock. Um, I'm a fan of the Bioshock movies, especially the third one, Bioshock Infinite. Um, I completed that game. Um, I don't know how Superman fans are gonna feel about this movie. Um, again, it's not Superman. It's not Clark Kent. Um, but I dislike Superman, but I really like this movie. This movie was better than Man of Steel, in my opinion. It's far more interesting, far more relatable. Um, and there's a little thing during the credits that I really... It's not a, I'll just say what it is. It's not a spoiler for the movie, but they kind of tease a dark and evil Justice League. Where like Wonder Woman is an evil witch that chokes pe hangs people with her lasso. And I saw kind of like an evil Flash there, too. Um... If I had to describe this movie in one word, it's risky. And this movie, everyone should take note, I heard this movie was made for like $7 million. And it's tripled its money back. This movie looks like it could have cost $70 million. But it, it's it's zero sevens, seven million dollars $7 It does not look cheap. This movie, I, I really like this movie. I would, I, would, I would tell my friends to go see this movie. If I had to rate this movie on the Star Strider scale, I'd give this movie an 82. Um, I hope they make another one. I hope I hope they create a whole universe. I want to see an evil Wonder Woman. I want to see an evil Flash. Maybe an evil Green Lantern. Um, this is... I, I, I really liked it. Elizabeth Banks is in it. And the guy who plays the kid... Um, I don't know what... what uh, I don't know what, what his name is. Um, this kid's named uh, Jackson Dunn. He was fantastic in this movie, man. Um, uh, I, I look forward to seeing more from him. Um, Elizabeth Banks was good. I, I like the chemistry with her, uh, between her and David Denham. Um, David Denham, I've seen him before and I don't know where, but he really came, comes across as having that fatherly kind of warmth. Um, I feel like I've seen him in... Uh, was he in uh, 13 Hours? Or maybe Lone Survivor, something like that. He, he, he just he looked really familiar. Um, I know I've seen him somewhere else, but off the top of my head, I can't remember. Anyway, um, this is not a DC movie. It's a Sony movie, which I was really surprised because from what I heard, oh, it's a, a Superman negative take. But it, again, it's not Superman. This guy doesn't want to get sued. Um, I want to see more from this. Again, I, I give it an 82, and this was a very risky movie. And studios should take note, you don't need $100 million to make these movies. Um, you know, this movie kind of reminded me of Chronicle in a way. Um... Yeah, it reminded me a lot of that. Um, I I hope they make more of these, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be monitoring this guy, uh, David Yaroveski, uh, in the future. So I look forward to seeing more from him. Anyways, did you guys see it? I recommend you go see it. Um, 
If you did, leave your comments below. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. And I will see you later. Okay, bye.